Yes, madam. Can you hear me? Can you see my screen, sir? Yes. Yes. Uh, today, uh, SQL record locking uh, using for update SQL clause. Uh, SQL for clause, what uh, is it actually? Uh, the SQL uh, for update clause is to lock queried uh, rows in Apex. We can uh, we can write uh, this clause along with the uh, query. Uh, Your voice is low, madam. Retrieving. Can you hear, sir? No. Now it's open. Yeah, we can perform this uh, for update clause uh, with the queried rows. Uh, we can use this in the Apex. Um, we can log the S object records while they are being updated. Uh, when we want to update any S object records, uh, we can log those records uh, that um, no other client can. Uh, uh, update uh, while going uh, by the other user while it is updating uh, by the other user uh, like while an S object record is logged no other client or other user is allowed to make updates either through the code or through the Salesforce uh, user interface uh, uh, SQL for update uh, locking used in order to prevent race conditions like and uh, other thread safety problems um, mainly uh, for uh, race conditions is like uh, like uh, user one want to uh, update the same record uh, the one record and the user two want to update the same record and any uh, go on that any other user like user three or user four want to update the same record in that uh, case um, user one can apply the lock on the particular record and update uh, that particular record not making sure that not others can update the same record. Um, when to use it? When client want to perform logics on the records and make updates with the guarantee that the logged records won't be changed by another client during the log period. The applied logs get released. When this log is get released is like when the transaction of the logged record get transaction completes then only the other user can uh, edit the record or access, uh, unlock the record um, while using this uh, software for update we need to take some considerations that not to uh, use the order by date clause uh, while logs the records queried but also related records not this means like uh, while using the for update with the SQL um, the records which are retrieved uh, that means the records which are logged it will also the related record uh, related to like uh, parent uh, relation uh, will be uh, there, no? that uh, uh, records also will be logged. If an Apex transaction uses a query updated by the Apex transaction, the same Apex transaction alone, all the other processes will be blocked until that trans uh, Apex transaction gets completed. Uh, any Apex transaction is currently in process, which holds a query update lock on the records. And the second Apex transaction tried to obtain the lock. Like means uh, one app, user one is updating the, say example one record. Um, the user two wants to uh, lock the, the same record and want to update. So that the second user one uh, have to wait until 10 seconds uh, to, get the, in, uh, to get the lock. Uh, but even in 10 seconds, if uh, uh, 
if the transaction of the first apex transaction is not completed uh, the query exception will be thrown that is unable to lock row uh, when uh, we can use limit with the for update also uh, where lock is applied on those uh, number of records those number of records while job is executing like if you are performing uh, some 100 records uh, we are uh, getting some 100 records we can limit it to uh, we can limit the lock to two records only so that uh, two records say if we example if we take two records limit to uh, it uh, it will limit to the two records itself it will not uh, if without using the limit it will uh, lock to the 100 records which are querying from that query uh replication of this uh, scenario uh in uh, we can see like if the records are not locked for the user a uh if performing the sock well for a record without the for update has long running transaction and user b sock well for record without for update statement tries to update the record uh results they can update because it's or uh, those transactions are without the for update so, um, scenario 2 uh, user a um, so, uh, performs a sock well record with for update statement and has long running transactions for the when while that time user b sock well uh, performing the sock well for the record without for that record without for update statement and tries to update the result update the record results uh, user b cannot update the record exception will be thrown uh, scenario 3 is same as uh, like uh, user uh, a is performing sock well for a record with uh, for update statement and the user b is also performing uh, sock well query for update uh, with the for update statement uh, it results the it results in the exception one second it results in the exception um, record is currently unavailable which is attempting to edit uh, to to lock uh, to uh, perform a lock on the s object in the apex code we can embed Uh, the for update clause for uh, after any inline sockwell query sockwell statement uh, for example like uh, on the list accounts um, we can write like with the select uh, query um, we can append with uh, for update clause at the last uh, here i tried something to replicate it uh, this code we can uh, if we uh, try i tried executing in anonymous window um, uh, here for integer i 0 uh, less than some number like it's a bigger number uh, to make uh, the cpu it's here i used this for statement uh, to make cpu just hold for some time more than 10 seconds so that we can throw uh, we can find this error i'll show you uh, Uh, by executing in the anonymous window also um, can i do that and i like uh, can i explain this sockwell all rules sir first uh, complete that one madam then you can come to this first execute that statement for update then you can this Uh, i'm performing it is on the it on the custom object uh, student object you see uh, this first statement i have just uh, taken it to hold the cp uh, hold, hold the cpq to run some process uh, like i told the apex transaction right i'm creating this example apex transaction to hold the cpu time like not holding uh to perform till sec more than 10 seconds so that we can raise the error we can get the error okay 
executive highlighted. It will be getting executed. Uh, I have logged in uh, user one. Say I am updating this one. I'm logged in and in another browser with the other user. Now, uh, user one is in edit. Uh, he user one is editing uh, the record, and the user uh, two is also editing the record. So I I am trying uh, to from the user two. I'm saving the record. Okay, so we are just holding one depth 10 seconds that we call for update keyword. Yeah, 10 seconds. It, it holds for the 10 seconds. So just we are testing. Uh, see, after, this, after this uh, uh, execution has stopped, right? So can, I can, can update now. Got it. Yeah, block will be get raised from the second user lock for the second user lock will be get released so he can okay. update after the transaction yeah first user can update in the meanwhile also in the, at the time of cpu time running in the background yeah in the meanwhile first user uh, released okay. even in before the 10 seconds also yeah man sure man. okay man understood man. so it is clear right so what uh, for update is doing is now so we can log the record at the time multiple users are modifying right same record so we can lock we can hold the like a transaction for second users by using for update keyword so just for testing purpose man i'm using for loop in the anonymous window to test the functionality for second users. 